Good morning everyone and happy Friday. This is Star Trek Fleet Command morning coffee stream. It is the Friday before Labor Day. I hope you are having a good Friday or will have a good Friday because it's the Friday before Labor Day holiday in the US. If uh, my European friends, thank you for being with me, but it is a holiday in the US. So uh we're going to go ahead and go live and we are going to go ahead and move my ugly mug there we go and um, I did find my story where I ended up going to the ER for um, having a bug crawl into my ear and I will be telling that tale or reading back what I wrote about that <laughs> situation um, around 7.30, maybe half, maybe 30 minutes into the stream, something like that. I, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so that's coming up later. Right now we're going to go ahead and start our pulls for our dailies. And we can claim a reward. We got 15% dilithium, hard steel, tritanium, repeating dilithium. Oh, that's, yeah, they're all protection. 6% mining, 15% tritanium again. 15, okay, so repeating. All right, nice. It is still, I am surprised, the refinery, bonus refinery is still going. Uh, I am way behind on mining to make that worth doing at this point. So I am going to hold, fold off on the pulls I've got my ships out mining. I pulled them back before I started the stream to get the um, uh, three-star gas in the bunker. So I put them back out for the uh, crystal. And I do have picked up a shot a Spock shard I noticed just now but I have no idea how many of those bad boys I've got Scopely is not known for giving away something it can sell <laughs> Fifteen percent research speed, twenty percent to damage, and one hundred fifty percent to ore mining. Nice. All right. I am going to call this. stream real quick and pull the um, web give uh, I gotta refresh the page first let me clean pull the mission key sorry got distracted 
Alright, factions. I am above 50% now with uh, Tort favored with Klingons. Take Kirk out of the chair, put Kirk back in the chair. Yeah. Oh, I am way behind on my box. So I have 11 out of 150 shards. I don't think I have any others. Yeah, zero on the Locutus. Zero on seven of nine, and I'm sure zero on Janeway. Yep. And we'll do our, uh, <coughs> excuse, excuse me, we'll do our uh, officer polls. Alright, mission key, recruit, no Sela. Una, there we go, that's what I'm talking about right there. Con, that works. Double trophy recruit. I should have done this yesterday, I guess, but I didn't. Nero. Twelve of eighteen on Stan. That's good. Bones, I need you unlocked, buddy. You and Kirk. That helps. Twelve of thirty-four, but not where I want it to be. Faction pulls. Chang would be nice. He's good on an Armada. He's also good with Gorkon, but winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I forgot to turn the chat on on the iPad. Okay, Apex Sky. No idea what that means, but whatever. Um, got an event store deal, dealio going on. I know. Somewhere in here soon, there will be a, um, oh, uh, incursion. I just don't know when and where. I 
at these. These are officers. I think that's normally what I do with these guys. Credits. Looks like I get all of these credits. Independent credits. Um, heist loot badges. So here we get gas and dilithium, crystal, and tritanium. And these are Apex research metals and there there is a pecking order to these things that I don't recall So I'll tell you what I'm going to go with uh, Recruit a friend <laughs> And uh, maybe I'll get some of these contraband ch chips and the ship XP Let's see what happens Well, it looks like I get some of everything. That's nice. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, that's a shame. Okay, uh, factions, I don't know why that's lit up again. Okay. Good, good. All right, let's, let's start building something. Get the builders working. Uh, what's going on here? <clears throat> Uh, diplomatic relations. Let's get uh, Gonzalez in the wind. Health. We'll put Spock on, we will put Okay. Build. That's where we were going. hours. Damn. You're killing me, Smalls. Let me go ahead and do something about this one because I know refits. No, no, no. Ship hanger, excuse me, ship hanger is going to jack me up eventually if I don't level it up. 
Let's see what we have in research. That's a 20 hour build. That is a 16 hour deal build. Not a whole lot of difference there, folks. Um, survey hall. Okay, got it. Well, let's go ahead and start them. Everything's cooking. Talon on the bridge. And then we're going to go looking for bugs. Oh, no. I decided I want to do the 22s. They are over here. Okay. I think we have a a while for this. Oh, not too bad. Two and a half minutes. Not bad. Okay, that should work. And so to basically prove that this is a pre-written story, I'm not just making this up on the fly, I'm going to point my phone's camera whoops, at the text on the screen <laughs> right there. And that's in Google Docs, and that's what I'm going to be reading this morning. Um, I don't remember how long ago this happened, to be honest. I don't have a mixing board, that's why I had to do that stupid maneuver. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's been five years, maybe more. Um... So we'll get a little, a little something, something going here with the game, and then uh, around 7:30 ish my time, I will entertain you with a uh, a story that relays um, how I hurt myself, <laughs> or when something stupid happens to me. I do this for a lot of events in my life because I'm often doing something stupid or hurting myself. Sometimes at the same time.
Oops, I'm killing too quickly and I'm not letting my shield recover. Uh, why is the sound effects not happening? Yeah, they're on. Okay. I don't know if it's a restart thing or a, um, stream thing. Let me check on something real quick. What are you pointed at? Yeah, you're pointed at the Brio, which is the camera. I'm using the uh, camera uh, mic is more better, more sensitive than the headphone mic, so I use it. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's a game thing, and to fix it. I would have to stop the game and restart, and I'm not gonna do that. Oh, there we go. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That is not it. So, yes, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a, it's a game thing. Restarting it will fix it, and I'm not going to do that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There you go. Perfect. Oh, and FYI, if you, if any of you are interested, I was, I went online trying to find a Star Trek, any, any series, any series Star Trek uniform shirt. The official store is out. So, if you care. The, uh, there was a, there's a person that streams Star Trek Fleet Command. And I want to say it's uh, Morbid John. And he has the coolest, nicest looking uniform shirt. When he streams, he, he well at least the few times I've seen him, I don't catch him often. And that's not because I'm not following him, I am following him. Um, anyway, the, the few times that I've caught him, He's had a shirt on that I really, really like the looks of. But, sadly. Uh, let's see here. Yep, level 20s. Come on back. <clears throat> We will repair and get back out there and get after it.
Okay. Sorry. I ain't trying. Travel time. I hate it. I guess I should put, um... Helvia? I think it's Helvia. On the ship, just to speed things up like this. But, I'd have to take somebody really important off the bridge, and I don't want to do that. Uh, oh, FYI, if you follow me on my Twitch, uh, then you know that I also do a um, stream for Star uh, EverQuest, and tonight is Raid Night. It's Friday Raid Night. Friday Night Raid Night. So if any of you who see this are interested, uh... That will be happening starting up around 8 this evening. That is Eastern Time. I should I should also note that. <laughs> it's Eastern Time. In the continental U.S. a half delay for uh, the festivities to begin. That my OCD is kicking in. That this game not making the attacking sounds <laughs> when it's going after these swarm ships is uh, driving me to distraction. But I'm gonna have to put up with it for an hour and a half, <laughs> and I don't like it. And I, I left the uh, game running overnight. I probably should have restarted it this morning because that does happen. If you leave the game up and running for an extended period of time. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <clears throat> 
As my father used to say, if frogs had wings, they wouldn't bump their butt when they jumped. Wow, just knocking these bad boys out this morning. Go, Talon, go. can do all the 15s without having to repair, but I think I'd rather repair. Fifteen bucks. What I am going to do, uh, I know that my beautiful bride has made coffee. <clears throat> I am going to start, I'm going to repair the ship, start it going toward Kova for the 15 level bugs and I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee five minutes or less usually and uh, when I come back I will relay the story of, of um, a bug crawling into my ear and the uh, escapades that followed to get Mr. Bug evicted from my ear. This is a previously written funny story, at least I think it's funny and anybody I've shared it with thinks it's funny. Uh, and for some of you who don't like insects, it may cause you to have <laughs> shivers or a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Come on, baby, land for three, two, one, zero. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm going to mute the mic and go grab coffee. I, I will be right back.
Alrighty, as you can see, I am back. Welcome into the stream. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> so, as previously promised, I am going to quickly run through a story about going to the ER for a bug that crawled into my ear. So here we go. So I just got back from the ER, not the way I had envisioned spending a late Monday evening. I was blissfully spending a little quiet time with my recliner in the fully laid back and locked position. There might have been some snoring involved, okay? When suddenly something fluttered around my left ear. Needless to say, I came up to a sitting position faster than Usain Bolt coming out of the starting blocks. Wide awake and swinging. I must have scared the little dive bomber pretty, pretty badly because the little shit took refuge in my left ear canal. Well, I hit myself on the side of the head a few times, but that just made it scrabble around in my ear even more. So now I'm thinking gun, poison, fire, gas. What do I do? What do I do? I quietly tiptoe upstairs, trying not to wake the missus, grab a pair of tweezers, and go after his screechy little ass. Unfortunately, I only managed to pull off a wing and a leg. Damn it. Now I have to wake my beautiful bride. With a lot of grumbling, she, she got up and she tried to dig it out with the tweezers but it was scurrying ever deeper into the depths of my ear canal looking for a safe haven from her. I'm shaking my head and twitching every time she moves or it moves, excuse me, and she's yelling, stop moving! And I say, let's trade places, sweetie. I suggest pouring alcohol into my ear to kill it, but she decides to use water instead I guess hoping it would float out. Nope. She says, well, tomorrow go see a doctor, <clears throat> excuse me, the doctor, and let him get it out. And it's like, what the hell? To be sure, to be damn sure, she didn't just tell me, let Marvin, you can call me Bug, the uninvited ear canal house guest to camp out in my left ear overnight. Who, who could tell what's going on in there? There might be a hundred eggs laid in there in that overnight time frame. No. And it's my good ear and she knows it. I'm hard of hearing. So I <laughs> said to her, no, we're going to the ER right now. I'm not letting that thing crawl around in my ear all night long. My hearing is bad enough as it is. So with a side order of grumbling to go with, by the woman who agreed to have my three children, <clears throat> uh, off we go to the ER. After much explaining about the foreign object, quote unquote, in my left ear, and some snickering by the hospital staff, they finally call me back. And I'm beginning to one, get concerned because with the after the initial disbelief the very next question coming from the hospital staff and I was asked this four different times I swear is what kind of bug is it look do I look like an entomologist seriously get it out of my ear feel free to keep it for study afterwards I don't care the poor nurse that brings me back is so freaked out and she shows me to the exam room and leaves with a shudder. And she says, while hurrying away, I don't do bugs. And she does this full body twitch. <laughs> and I said to her, retreating back, me neither. And I started freaking out when I saw, and I swear this is true, I swear. I started, I started freaking out when I saw the Orkin man slowly roll by the endless door. And I swear to you, they put me in a room. You could see the large doors that open up when an ambulance backs up to let the, the gurneys, bring the gurneys into the ER. And Mr. Orkin Man went rolling. 
So <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> a nice young man comes uh, comes in, and honestly, I don't know if he was a nurse or a doctor. I think a doctor, but I'm not entirely sure. I didn't ask, and he cheerfully says, "So you have a foreign object in your ear." I look at this dude and I go, "No." I have a bug in my ear. Get it out, please. He seemed to try pulling it out with surgical tweezers. And I, I think the ones that he used have a bend in them. Uh, and if that didn't work, he would squirt lidocaine gel into the ear and kill it that way. Uh, he managed to pull the stupid thing out in pieces. He and my wife kept commenting on how large Marvin, you can call me bug, was. I don't really need to know that. Enjoy a frosty mug of shut the hell up. Really? So all's well now. The only lasting problem is I may or may not have a leg of a bug in my left ear canal. I have an overwhelming urge to dig in my left ear with an ice pick and I have a full annoying full body twitch Anytime I hear anything buzz, the end. That was it. That was my trip to the ER for a bug in my ear. I hope you enjoyed my pain and suffering. And I, any anything that happens to me like that, I do try to write funny stories about it. And uh, oh, and as a side note, I didn't name that bug. My oldest daughter did. I don't remember. I think it was after after they had cleared my ear. She sent me a text and said, "So, Marvin the bug, what did you <laughs> what did you do with him? Did you bury him? Did you cremate him?" <laughs> I said, "No." I uh, I let the the ER doctor slash nursing staff keep him for study. They seem to be extremely interested in what kind of bug. And uh, my wife, who saw what was being removed from my ear, but the doctor would show her. See, you know, like see this, but he wouldn't show me. I don't know, maybe he thought I was going to jump up and run out of the ER, the ER and let me tell you something, dude. Till you get that bug out of my ear, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but he never showed me any of the pieces. So I don't know how big it was, but my wife said the damn thing was huge. Huge. So that's, that is my philosophy. If you really, really try, you can find humor in just about any situation. Just about. I even wrote funny stories about my cancer treatments, believe it or not. How long did that take? Well, it took a little longer than I thought. I'm going to say maybe 10 minutes rather than 5 minutes. That's valuable stream time. <laughs>
And if you can see into this cup, and you may be wondering <clears throat> why there is a foamy substance on top. I like cappuccinos. <clears throat> so this is a poor man's version of cappuccinos. Or a cappuccino. Um, so I have a frother. So I go downstairs and I pour a little milk in the cup and I heat it in the microwave and then I take the frother and whip it up and then pour the coffee in on top of it so technically not coffee as much as a poor man's version of a cappuccino My wife drinks straight black coffee. I don't know how she does it. Um, I use an artificial sweetener called Stevia. And I am sure you've, you've all heard of it. Oh, maybe finished. Maybe finished. Yep. Awesome. Okay, I think I have the 26's faction. Yes. The faction kills. Alright. I need to swap out Talon for Chin. They couldn't head that way. Gonna bring these back real quick so I can see if it's worthwhile going ahead and pulling the 
almost refinery for crystal? Probably not. Probably not. But I, like I said, 30 days out of the game, I got caught out of position when it comes to bonus refinery and there's nothing I can do about it for the most part. So, no sense crying over spilt milk. That little box was driving me nuts. PVE chest, will we get anything good? Nope. I am curious though. Take a look. What have I? A fortune, a Fendra, a Taurus, Jellyfish, Tala, Envoy, Franklin, Botany Bay. Push on the 23 so I can pick up the Vok eventually. These are great headphones, except for the fact that they smash the crap out of your ears. I don't know how anyone who has normal ears that poke out so you can hear can stand this for extended periods of time. It is amazing how much smashing down on your ears these things do. Mm. Let's see, crystal. I'm thinking of it. I am not sure about, well, the reason I'm not sure is my wife hasn't told me yet. She hasn't given me my marching orders for Monday Labor Day. So I'm telling you now, I'm going to cancel Monday's morning stream just in case we are not where I can do this. Uh, 
because as of right now I do not know if it's going to be a uh, if we go anywhere it's going we're not planning to go out of town on a plane or a train or a bus it's it'll be a short staycation somewhere if we go somewhere there are some casinos around us that are within driving range and we may do that sometimes we stay overnight sometimes we don't so I'm gonna just going to go ahead and kill off the Monday morning stream for the holiday and I hope uh, everyone I'll say this early hope everyone has a good holiday enjoy your Friday Oh, you know what? God. I repaired the ship but did not replace the crew. <laughs> well, let's see how Talon does. I've done this before. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay. The uh, Romulans hate me. It won't be long before they'll come sending someone after me and come try to shoot me. Um, I'm surprised they haven't already done it, to be honest. There it is. Ooh. <clears throat> I need to let those shields recover. Attack the twenty sevens. Oh, yeah. But it's going to be the twenty seven uh, survey ships. <clears throat>
either attack the 27 um, explorer which is not really recommended and is in fact contraindicated or attack the 25s so I guess I'll go with the 27s this might get a hole cracked we'll see Bingo! <clears throat> That's exactly what I thought would happen. Let me get Chin on the ship this time. <laughs> and we'll speed along. Let's see, lost after eight. Um, how many do I have? Oh, I got one left. Okay. Uh, we need uh, some 21s. Okay. I was thinking that was something else. And I was right. So we'll kill the one, 26, 27, whatever we can find in Strezzy. I guess that's how you pronounce it. And then we'll head to a 21, 22 system and knock those out real quick. Tell you what, I can't believe there's not any 26 level ships in here. Guess I'm gonna have to kill every 25 in here. I'm just gonna attack a 27. It doesn't really matter as long as I kill something higher than I at or above 26. I was just trying to save some wear and tear. My poor Kira. I don't normally use these things unless there's, yeah, there we go. So one, 150% ore mining chip and one, one hour, 10% officer stat bonus. I got two of those, not one, two. Okay, nice. Nope.
we are going to over here. And then I'll find my um yeah, let's go here. For the twenty ones. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, watching paint dry time. Sorry. I have to pay attention to the clock. I need to be long into my work computer by 8.30, so. Sorry, looking at something else, string. I need 20 points. 25 points. Yep, that'll finish it. Good. I think I need many. I think I have like 18 out of 20, so I need, or 25. So I need like 7 or so.
That's the end of that. That should give me my token for the day. And it did. Nice. My loyalty badge. Why is that? That's crazy. I really do need to uh, put in a ticket for this. I can't get it to progress and it's jamming me up. But uh, my recent experience with the customer service ticketing process and their response leaves much to be desired. Why is this saying 12? I don't know. Anyway, what do we call this? If I remember correctly, I left a mission in the middle yesterday. Yep. Sure did. So we are going to repair and uh, see if we can finish the mission in the next 15 minutes. more I need to pull or crystal okay so slightly less than 5,000 units of crystal to complete that task I gotta hold up the stream for 16 minutes while that ship prepares alrighty uh, Go home, pull up the mission, find out where the hell we need to be. We need to be in Aura Lyra. Join the Air Force, join the Army, join the Navy, join the Marines, see the world. <laughs> be shot at while you're seeing the world. See, the, see every jungle and desert and backwater hole while you're seeing the world.
go. All right, let's see what we gotta do in here. Okay, Commander, we were beginning to wonder when you decide to join us. Hey, dude, I have a life. Looks like we found an outpost established by the Zonlif, Zonlif colonists. Mr. Spot was just about to provide us a status update. The colony contains all of the hallmarks of a mining outpost. It would appear that their intention was to begin the mining operations on the surface of Malico as soon as possible. However, the outpost remains in a similar condition to the colony. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the multiple casualties confirmed on the surface with no life signs detected. I want to know what happened to these people, and I have a feeling that the answer lies on that planet. Commander, we're moving in. Captain Pike, there are no existing records of the planet the colonists refer to, refer to as Malico. Any approach should be undertaken under the utmost caution. Roger that. Commander, we've just received a distress call from the USS Palace. It would appear that they found themselves stuck in Klingon territory and are taking on heavy fire. I don't know what could have possessed them to head out that way, but we're going to have to postpone our investigation of the Malico in order to of Malico in order to help them out. I'm sure you're not averse to lending a hand, Commander. I trust that you'll join us at the coordinates provided. Okay. Where are we going now? Rush to help the USS Palace. Kind of long-winded for a holodeck mission. Oh my god, four minute travel time. Mm, 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 mm. And this one may also be postponed until Tuesday, Monday, 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 Monday. I will not be streaming the uh, Star Trek morning coffee stream because, yeah. I'm not sure I can finish that because they're so long-winded I'm not sure I can finish this on air and since I started it on air I was going to finish it on air but this is getting crazy See what the uh, see what the requirements are once it gets here, and then we can go from there and make a decision because I'm running out of time. Uh, although I am close to retirement age, I am not retirement age yet. So I must clock into work and. break up rocks for a uh, 
for a company. Yes, my saggy, floppy, flappy, dough boy body breaks rocks for a living. Yeah. Tell you something, I once shook hands with a guy who ran a jackhammer for a living. Those guys are strong, I just want to say. Oh my god. I, um, I ran one as a joke once. And that thing was bouncing everywhere. I had no control of it whatsoever. And I pulled that trigger and I think when it dancing around in front of me, I was like, whoa, I'm out, I'm out. I thought it was gonna be like an auger. Once you got it started, it would just keep digging by its own self, but mm -mm, nope, 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 nope. These uh, long throws are long travel times. I call them throws, but they're long travel times. go oh my god <clears throat> palace this is captain christopher pike of the uss enterprise do you copy Reading you loud and clear, Enterprise. Lieutenant Atal, first officer, looks like you've just arrived in the nick of time. We can't hold off these Klingons any longer. Y'all gonna ruin my faction. I know what's coming. Stay back. Deflect all power to shields. And let's, let us take care of this. Commander, we've got to drive back those Klingons and buy the palace time to get out of here. Y'all are gonna ruin my faction. Damn it. 12 hostiles of 15 or higher. Oh, me. And I need to learn. Oh, well, they're level 17, so it doesn't really matter. What are we doing? It's 825, okay. Uh, I was going to say, are you going to attack that thing or just watch it go by you? Come on, gang, get with it. Where are we at? Half, six of twelve. Always oh, seems like I've killed more than I have. Wishful thinking. Oh. 
Oh, are they separate? Yeah, okay. Huh. Enterprise, this is Lieutenant Atal. Looks like you and your friend have managed to drive the Klingons back. You have our utmost gratitude. Well, Lieutenant Atal, seeing as we're all friends now, may, there may be one thing you can help us out with. And... Captain Pike, I've just received word from Seek Bay. Our captain suffered injuries from the Klingon attack and is out of commission. However, the captain is still conscious and sends their thanks. It was seen that the command of the palace has fallen to me. I must warn you, sir, that this is the first time I have taken active command of a Starfleet vessel. Congratulations on your promotions, Lieutenant. The most important thing to remember is to remain calm and collected. You've been training every day of your Starfleet career for this moment. Are you sure that you're able to join us? Would you rather we, that we sought medical attention for your captain? Native sir, the captain has given full authorization to join the Enterprise. He insists on showing our gratitude. Then it would only be rude of me to object any further. Join us in the Aura Lyra system, Lieutenant. We need your help to survey the surface of a potentially new found planet. Send you a detailed brief now. The palace is ready and willing to help Captain Pike lead the way. All right, I'm going to leave it right there because that's a good ending, stopping, whatever point. And I'm going to end the stream for today. Today is the Friday before Labor Day holiday weekend. Please have, enjoy the rest of your Friday um, and your holiday weekend. I wish you the very best. Please be safe. And I hope to see you back here on Tuesday. Monday's stream is canceled. So take care of yourself.